Hi Smith, this is Dr. Williams. I'll be seeing you today via telehealth. Uh, what brings you in to see us today? I woke up this morning and my ear really hurt. Which ear was it? My left ear. Okay, well let's take a look. Put the camera in your ear. It'll be really still. The ear looks a little red and there is some infection. I think we can treat this with some antibiotics, but I don't think we'll need to do anything further at this time. The University of Tennessee Health Science Center's telehealth network securely delivers medical specialty and subspecialty health care to patients across a three-state area, providing access to medical services that otherwise may be unavailable. The network's primary provider arm is UT Medical Group, with installations in hospitals, clinics, pharmacies, and educational facilities. Psychiatry, cardiology, ENT, and post-operative transplant services are just a few of the specialties provided by the telehealth network. Telehealth is a powerful tool that enables patients, doctors, and administrators to efficiently provide access to a higher quality of health care. I think a lot of people would, would worry about delaying access to care by doing this, trying to link up and do some sort of a uh, teleconference um, instead of transferring the baby, transferring the child, and getting, getting ser services more quickly. But quite frankly, um, it actually improves access uh, to care. We um, have had several instances where we've had babies that needed a, an echocardiogram, um, had significant heart disease that needed surgery urgently, and actually linking up and talking with the cardiologist, showing them the echo, uh, actually improved access to care. There are relatively few pediatric cardiologists available for the large number of patients and areas that need to be served. And um, so what uh, tele-echoes and telehealth uh, um, systems as a whole have allowed us to do has been to be able to uh, use our physicians the most effectively. Uh, there are a number of regional hospitals that have uh, a fairly large volume of children who are born with suspected congenital heart disease who um, do not have a pediatric cardiologist locally. What we're able to do is to perform the uh, echocardiograms in their hospital have the information transmitted to our mother hospital here in Memphis, Tennessee, and to have the expertise of a pediatric cardiologist to uh, evaluate these patients remotely and to make the sorts of decisions that we need to, to make for these young children. In Tupelo, we have a subspecialty clinic where the subspecialists are only able to come to our area maybe once a month, twice a month and follow-up issues, having somebody have to travel you know, 90 miles to get their follow-up visit um, is difficult. Um, gas prices, you know, time-consuming, risk of accident, um, but if they can stay here and get their follow-up visit and interact with their subspecialty physician uh, using um, telehealth, it makes it much easier for the family. I was very leery of doing something I knew nothing about but I was willing to give it a chance. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Dr. Battle, and I have an appointment to see this young man this morning. It turned out to work just as well as what I've been doing all those years. There was no resistance. There was no hurdle. There was no avoidance. And as far as gathering enough information to make a diagnosis and do the treatment, it just worked so well. Telehealth helps the the practitioner who's, who wants to do rural work uh, in that um, this is no different than a regular session for us. All we have to do is uh, schedule it on our appointment books, turn on the um, equipment, and have the session in the usual time frame. From a subspecialty standpoint, the subspecialty physicians, um, the fact that they don't have to get on a road and travel for two hours, one, it, it's a safety issue, uh, and two, that's two hours out of the clinic. So if they spent that time um, receiving images from a remote site uh, and evaluating patients in, the, in, the, in their own office, uh, it actually um, allows them to see more patients and provide more services. Telehealth has allowed Labonner to expand without physically expanding its presence. It's given us the ability to provide services throughout a vast region, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Mississippi, and providing specialist services to those hospitals that need it. Whereas if without the capabilities of telemedicine, we'd have to physically send a physician, physically send a staff, and the equipment to provide the services that we can now use through telehealth. 
If you don't have access to subspecialists who tend to be localized at a, at a uh, university setting, some sort of university hospital, um, if you don't have access to those folks, then babies are transferred out, kids are transferred out, and the ability to have their expertise brought to you with telehealth services is just incredible. There are a lot of advantages to working with telehealth, but one advantage is working with the University of Tennessee and Health Science Center because they make the connectivity so easy. They bring in their expertise, their knowledge, and lay it all out in a format that's very simple to understand, and they do all the background work. Because we are a smaller clinic and we don't require the, the service of a full-time child psychiatrist, it's been really helpful to be able to schedule smaller clinic, shorter clinic times um, on several days a week. Uh, so that we can have coverage, so we're able to serve our uh, clients, uh, particularly the children, without additional cost. Telehealth is able to provide access to the region, and by providing that access, it's able to take care of families and patients within the local community hospitals. Therefore, those dollars are staying there as they're being provided for in that local community hospital while at the same time they're able to access the specialty services that are needed through telehealth by reaching out into a hospital like Le Bonner Children's Medical Center. So it becomes a win-win from everybody. The aging population is actually growing. Currently in Tennessee, about 12 percent of the population is 65 or older. This is also going to be the group that's least able to transport themselves or um, uh, be able to keep appointments. The future of telemedicine is actually is being able to provide specialists um, you know, for populations like geriatrics. Um, this was uh, actually um, highlighted by a recent Institute of Medicine report from one month ago, which um, um, basically said that uh, the uh, need for geriatric uh, physicians, whether it's geriatric medicine or geriatric psychiatry, um, was uh, already uh, underserved and uh, the number of training programs um, and uh, trainees that were finishing um, specialty training at least um, was not going to meet the need in the near future. Using digital imaging, state-of-the-art remote consults, and high-definition live diagnosis, the University of Tennessee Health Science Center Telehealth Network is at the forefront of modern healthcare. Partnering with the University of Tennessee Medical Group and the University Medical Center Hospitals, telehealth will continue to expand our coverage area, develop innovative new ways to help the underserved, and leverage technology to ensure that everyone has access to the finest medical care available. Telehealth, uniting doctors, patients, and communities through technology.